Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Today, we're up in Marquette, riding what is said to be one of the longest sustained downhill trails in Michigan. I know, I know. I have several videos showing you four to five mile downhill routes up in Copper Harbor, but those are made up of several trails and require a bit of climbing mid-ride. Zug's Trail in Marquette, Michigan is almost two and a half miles long of sustained downhill that requires almost no pedaling. While this is broke up between two different trail sections and trail forks, I think that's just because of the change in difficulty. Oh, that's slippery, careful. I'll wait at a couple spots. Anytime that something gets weird, I'll wait. Hey, look, we're climbing again. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why the heck did we climb for this? Upper Zoogs is a black trail littered with intermediate to advanced level features. At just under a mile long, this trail truly earned its black diamond rating with both its optional features and mandatory tech sections. I don't know what this is. This part's a pain and I think it's flow from here. What's down there? That's where we gotta go? Yeah, this part might be a walkable because there's nothing on the left to catch you if you fall. Oh, You're going down this side? Right? Yeah. Don't go left. Oh boy. Get it. Oh. Intimidation. Wait, I got back up. Oh my God. <laughs> There she is. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh, it's a bigger gap than I thought it would be. I don't know if I can get the speed. I know, I'm just speed running it to see if I can even consider doing it. Oh, no, I'm not. No way. Once you get past that techie rock section, flow from here. Everything from here on out shouldn't be much harder than a blue trail. While it still holds a black rating for just a bit longer, there isn't much to look out for other than some fun side hits to spice things up a bit.
That one's crooked. Once you cross back over the two track, you've officially jumped onto the blue portion of Zoo's. From here on out, it's super fast, super flowy, and rips around the side of the hill before following along the Carp River. Be sure to keep an eye out for side hits, hairpin turns, as well as climbers. This is a two-way trail. Wow. Once you're near the bottom of the trail, there are a few tight switchbacks that you really don't want to go over the top of. That is tight. And that's a lot. Three percent battery. We have like 400 feet of climbing over two miles. I bet I can. If you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure that you're subscribed.